Okay, so I kind of sort of like lost my mic, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. So I'm gonna go over how I drew um, Fujimoto's um, body, I guess. I don't know how to explain that. But someone asked, was like, oh, how do you draw like the anatomy on the, on the characters? So I'm not gonna really like explain it because I don't really know how to. But I'll show you like a video of my progress. And um, you also, just to like give you a heads up, I use a I use a digital pencil. I don't use my finger or anything like that. My finger just irritates me. And so just a heads up as to why my um, art often <laughs> looks a little. Um, weird when I draw it, it's because I'm using a digital pencil, so just like a heads up. Also, sorry if I sound like congested or whatever that word is, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm sick, so. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your character, right? So now you have your character, then BAM! You just want to strip him. Once your character is stripped, now you want to go to Ibis Paint and um, upload that photo into Ibis Paint and follow with me, follow with me. All right, so once that photo is uploaded, you want to go to the corner and then you want to put in the reference picture, reference window, that's what it's called, right? You want to add the reference that you want. I'm using my original reference. And so I use Mocha's originally, but I'm gonna use my own because now I have my own. So now you wanna like clean up the body and start uh, fixing it up so that there's no like lines or any like um, errors in the skin, I guess. I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, this just takes time. All right, so once you're finished with like cleaning up the body, you wanna start drawing. I use the ink pen for like everything. So um, yeah, I get the basic skin tone and then I go to my stability or whatever when i do that i don't really care what the stability is but then i struggle to draw the collarbone it just depends on the day but i usually struggle with it a lot <laughs> and i prefer it to be thick um not really skinny and then you want to like shape the body a little bit so you have that upper peck this is for dudes by the way i'm not gonna be going over girls but dudes have like a peck and then you want to like straighten out the peck yeah i think that was good all right and then you can kind of like fix it however you want but it should be up because pecs don't really well yeah they sad but i don't know how to explain it but yeah um this is just me just draw like a rainbow sort of not a rainbow um an m a w that's what it is a w and i'm saying i'm done no um what the frick am i saying whatever just draw a w and it should look a little something like this now that you have like an idea where the peck is you want to draw a line yeah, like that actually dang i nailed that oh my god well yeah and then there you have both the pecs and then you're gonna sit here and watch me struggle to draw the, the line properly because um it was really freaking hard to draw i couldn't draw it but it should have like a, a point at the top and then go straight down and it, yeah this one's kind of perfect um because your stomach you have like a little bump where your stomach is and then the top of your you kind of have like a, a dip in your chest where your breasts are and yeah this is just me showing you where the um, abs would go but i don't draw abs i just draw the outlines of the skin see perfect there and then you draw the belly button i kind of do like a c shape and then um this is me just fixing the body because i realized that it doesn't look skinny because uh, Fujimoto, he's skinny, like, I wouldn't say he's, like, buff, like, crazy buff, but he's relatively skinny. So here's just, like, my process of me trying to figure that stuff out. And then, um, I think I'm just, like, I don't know what I'm doing now. And then, um, you want to draw the love handles after this, because, um, well, oh, I'm fixing the love handles, but, um, yeah, love handles. Love handles are the things that lead down to another area. Um, these are optional if you want these, but I draw them because I think they look good. And then, um, I erase. So I use whatever opacity doesn't matter, and then I erase the center area. And then I kind of like drag it down to the stomach area and then the left hand was I kind of do it there. And then after I'm done doing that, I kind of put it down to whatever like opacity I like the best. It doesn't matter, I usually do 70 though. And then there you have it. But this is um optional if you want this, but I add number ones. Yeah, um, I don't think Mocha does this, but I do. I don't really care if they're there or not, but to me it looks weird. If you're uncomfortable drawing them, you don't have to draw them, but to me it just looks strange not to have them. Yeah, this is just me struggling to um, what's it make them the same size. <laughs> but yeah, this is it final product i guess um another big question i got was how do i get rid of the light motion watermark and i'll show you i'll show you but you need two apps to do this so you need a light motion and you need cap cut and cap cut is disgusting with um what is it quality but you know it's all good it's all good because it takes it gets rid of the watermark and you know that's fine fyi i do not have premium i do not have premium of light motion so this is how i get rid of the light motion watermark this is for me my experience with the light motion watermark so just follow along all right, so pull up into a light motion and you want to go to the project that you have and look at the top of the light motion project and see that the light motion watermark is on the top and then you want to export it this is how i export but yeah then once it's finally exported you want to have you want to export it a second time with the light motion watermark at the bottom of the screen. Here's like the idea of what it should look like whenever you're done exporting them. Then this is where CapCut comes into play. You want to get in and start a new project. And then you want to go into that project and upload the, one of the videos. So I prefer the one with the light motion uh, watermark at the top of the screen. Then you want to add the other one that you downloaded and crop it to where the top part of the screen doesn't have the watermark. And then you want to shape it or what's it? Like fix it to your liking to where there's no watermark and as you can see there's no watermark in the thing anymore and then you want to get rid of the ending part but yeah 
so there you have it and this is completely optional but you can sharpen your thing if you want and um it'll help with the quality if you sharpen the screen but yeah done with it and there you have it